So let's talk about NAD real quickly. This is one of the newest, um, new discovered, it's been around since the earth began, molecule that we know gives better bioenergetics and signals more sirtuin activity and better DNA cleanup and repair naturally decreases with age. They're still trying to figure out why, probably because of elevated levels of oxidative stress and chronic inflammation over the years. But you can add back the NAD that you're naturally losing. And the best way to do that is NMN, we think, which is a subset of the molecule. So <clears throat> NAD, again, is the shuttle system. So you can see this circle on the right is a Krebs cycle. The circle on the right is the Krebs cycle, which shows um, how glucose goes through certain steps to pull out pyruvate and whatnot, and then electrons are put onto the shuttle system of NADH, which then brings it to the electron transport chain and lets oxidative phosphorylation happen, you form ATP. Can't do it without NAD. There are no bioenergetics, everything will shut down, you will feel like crap without NAD. So the best way to return NAD to the system because it's used up in the process of DNA repair, bioenergetics, is to take NMN because NMN is a molecule in the so-called salvage pathway of forming NAD. Now you can form NAD from things like tryptophan and the diet, but it takes a long, you know, series of steps to do it. And then there's the best way to supplement is not with tryptophan, but it's in one step away from NAD, which is NMN. Then, it, then just one enzyme is needed to convert it. So again, electron movement, and then um, also NAD is a signaler in the body and will turn on and off the sirtuins and whatnot to try to induce better DNA repair and things like that. So, you wanna increase your cellular levels of NAD by taking NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide because you wanna allow more electron energy transfers in a more efficient manner. And then you wanna have more sirtuin activation. By result of that, you want healthier mitochondria, you want better folded proteins, you want better DNA that doesn't have mutations and has been repaired. Uh, we are assaulted on a daily basis and our DNA is constantly being damaged and mutated. Our body has a way to repair it, but if it doesn't have the energy and the signaling molecules and the properly folded enzymes to repair the DNA, the good histones and things like that, then you can't repair it. And one of the keys to that process is NAD. So I take NMN now every morning um, and I've been feeling a lot better, but I'm really taking it for optimal health and longevity and try to keep my DNA. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, so I'm hit by radiation every time I operate. Um, there's a million ways you can have DNA damage. So NMN is one way to help your body repair that damage and also to give you more energy. So less fatigue, you're better able to ha ha um, handle toxins, you're better, better able to handle exogenous or outside assaults. So ionizing radiation, gamma radiation, pollution, bad water, heavy metal, you know, lead in the water or whatever. All of that damages intracellular functionality and molecules, but it's all fixable but you have to have the energetics for it and the signaling and NAD is key. So that's why I take NMN. All right, so we talked about the metabolism. So the, this shows you that NAD starts with tryptophan, which pretty sure you can find like turkey foods like that. And then it gets converted through a series of steps to nicotinamide, to NMN, to NAD plus, <clears throat> okay, which is the, the element that when you add, when you, um, reduce it, you'll get NADH, right? So the electrons either add on or pull off. So it just shuttles them around and that changes you from NAD to NADH. So NMN is a salvage pathway, which is shown in the block on the right. So the de novo means, you know, of new, so made from the building block of tryptophan, but you can salvage it, the body recycles it because we just need too much of it. It's used in every cellular process all the time. And there's just no way we would ever be able to eat enough food to get the NAD that we need to, to be alive and function. So the body has built in what's called a salvage pathway or a recycling pathway. So NMN drops it in at the top of that recycling pathway. Um, and that's just, and they just recently, a paper just recently came out showing an NMN receptor. So we know that it can be pulled into the cell and utilized. Um, and the question, there's still some ongoing research being done on, does it turn into nicotinamide alone or will it still go all the way through to NAD, depending on dosing or things like that. Nicotinamide you don't want, that does the opposite of NMN. So you wanna make sure you're just getting NMN to NAD. All that work's being done, but by and large, the animal studies are very clear, the preclinical studies, and a, a lot of the work being done on humans now is showing that, that this is the, probably the way to go. And then of course, 
NAD, not only does it shuttle electrons and act as a currency to get electrons from the Krebs cycle to the ATP cycle so that you can have bioenergetics, but it is actually a signaling molecule too. So as levels go up, so too do the sirtuin levels go up. And then the energy can be used for DNA repair, but you'll still have enough energy left over for other functionality. So it'll induce um, certain elements that cause all of this acetylation, the histones to work, and the DNA to repair. Very, very important. And you have to have enough energy to do it all. So if your sirtuins sense a lot of DNA damage, they're just gonna be spinning their wheels trying to clean that up. Meanwhile, other DNA is getting damaged and you're not making energy for the cell and you're not cleaning up the mitochondria. So you have to have enough NAD for the sirtuins to function and the bioenergetics of the cell to function. So that's why levels of NAD are so important.